Okay. Right in the middle. Right in the middle? What? <coughs> oh, we can't do that. We are in two way. lives. No, that's fine. We are in Facebook Live. Well, which one am I meant to look at, people? YouTube. Facebook. Hello. Oh, hey. Okay, there's the two different platforms. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can have a look at both then. Hey, Katie Stokes, how you doing? So today we're um, going to be doing a live on all the different proteins and protein questions because we get so many and you guys are so interested in the subject with us so you're like fellow nerds. Right? Yeah, we're so excited to talk about protein. So let's, we're going to dive right into these questions. Yeah, we should dive. I want to say hi to everyone. Hi, Debbie. Hey. Hi, Crystal, Linda. Trish, hey. Tasha. We are in the, our official uh, kitchen. Trim Healthy Kitchen, we're, near, we're not at my well, We used to do all of our videos. We haven't done for forever. Yeah, so we're um, here for some meetings. So we, we're setting up for the live hey, here. KJ. So um, there are a bunch of questions and we're gonna get to them and we're not gonna kind of muck around as yeah. we say down under. No time um, to muck around. Megan had this one thing and she's like, I'm super confused. Let's say I work out right before I'm gonna have lunch. So I take essential, right. that's your EAAs, yeah. your newbie. but I'm ready for a real meal with yeah. real protein. Not that essential isn't real, but you get it. Okay, we do get it. What happens with the four ounces of chicken breast I'm having with my meal? Is it used? Yes. Am I wasting protein? No. Does it still count? Hush, yes. wait till we finished. I know, but I want to just... I only eat like four times a day, so if I don't get the meat protein in, then I won't make up for it some other times in the day. Also, does essential balance blood sugar and prevent a spike in the same way food proteins would? Good question and lots of questions in one. Boy, you really packed them in, Megan. <laughs> okay, so let's just talk about should you... Okay, so you're ready for lunch. You're hungry for lunch, but you're going to do your workout first. You need to put essential in. So you made the right move. Um, because you, you do need essential amino acids in your bloodstream if you don't want your muscles to kind of be catabolic during your workout, because if it has been about three hours since breakfast, which it has, because she's ready for her lunch, then she needs to put in some fuel. Right, but here's what I'm saying. Here's what I would say. Um, it depends upon how you want to go, because if you have your lunch right after your workout, and let's just say it's only bit and you had a snack mid-morning, you're, you're okay, you wouldn't even have to take essential if you didn't want to, you could. I know, but it sounds like that's what she's using as her little snack, as her little, like, I'm ready for lunch, but I need to fit my workout in. Exactly, so what we would say in this situation, since you were timing it right about lunch, take them right before your workout rather than after. They'll be used in your workout, yeah. and then you have your lunch, and you have your chicken, and no, none of it is wasted. It's all used because, because the essential is in free form. The amino yeah. acids is in free form, so it doesn't go through that digestion. It doesn't put any strain. Someone upon... said no sound. Oh. Hey, can you guys hear us? Because we have to start again. Carmen said no sound. Is it just me? Can you guys uh, let us know? I can hear you great, says Sherry. Um, yeah, Hi. I hear you, says Pam Smith. So on the Facebook Live, is no, this that, Facebook no Live? that's YouTube. That's YouTube. YouTube can hear us. Kathy, you can. Oh, ah, okay. Linda, great, brilliant. So Sorry for the lady who couldn't hear us. Rachel can hear. So, so um, should I continue where I was at? Yeah. So the freeform amino acids, they don't uh, tax your system at all, and they get used in in a way that. You know how with f real whole food protein, your body can only kind of digest and utilize about 25 grams at a time, and the rest can kind of be then used, stored as fuel for later on. Um, well, that doesn't happen with the free form amino acids, even if you add them on top of your food protein. So do not think that they're gonna get wasted or oh, all of a sudden I've got too much. Um, so, so yes, in answer to your question. Can I add something to that? Yes. It depends upon your approach too. If you want to be just, oh, I, I, I'm frugal. I don't have enough money for this essential. I agree with that. And I'm still eating a meal. Which do I choose? I would say meal. Meal. But um, if but if you're going to do your meal as your protein, you don't need both. But if, but if you want to do your essential before you work out, you're going to get a better result. Yes, and you're going to have more energy, yeah. especially if you haven't eaten for a few hours. Yeah. So so then the other question is. Does essential balance blood sugar prevent a spike in the same way food pro proteins would? In studies, yes. Mm -hmm. 
And anecdotally, yes, and many people. Some people have tested their blood sugar and they need the foundation of whole food protein. So it's individual. Personally, it works for me. Yeah, it does work for me too, but I like to have whole food proteins in my snacks and meals. But if I'm on the run and hey, I've only got a banana and, and I just, you know, shove a bit of peanut butter on it and then I'm like, no protein, I'll take my essential, I'm fine. Yeah, and I find it really balances me. Yeah. Like I feel like those low blood sugar jitters and everything, they, I just feel very stable when I take it. Yeah, so it's unique. Just play with it and you and you do what you do. So here's one from Sherry. She said, uh, Sherry says, I like we, this question. Should we add essential, the EAAs, to every meal to make sure we are at leucine thresholds for proper muscle building or is once a day enough? Okay. And then she's got another part. Let's answer that. Okay. So in answering to that, um, it's... I would, I, I would always suggest whole food protein yeah. first. And if you've got four to six ounces of meat protein, you're fine, you don't need anything the, else. The reason why we love the essential amino acids is for directly after workout, mm -hmm. yes, because it's like straight into the bloodstream to refuel um, the, the, the muscle tissues. Um, but also because not every meal gives us that three gram bolus so we can kind of help round it off when we've tried our hardest and we still didn't quite meet it. Yeah. But I wouldn't use it as the as a lazy way of getting your three gram bowls. I would use food first. So and that helps out with the budget because then you only end up using it at maybe one or two times a day. Yeah. And so she's, unless you're traveling and you're out where there's no great protein options, then you might use it more. You might use it four times. So Sherry says, right now I add it to my morning oat bowl that includes bone broth powder. Well, that's good. Guess why? Because you don't have protein in your oats. And then you've got a little bone broth powder. Which but doesn't have high quality lutein. It has got a lot of glycine. And then she said she starts to add it to her two cups of homemade bone broth that you drink at night for supper. Okay, so bone broth But she also has additional protein at the meal. If it's you're like, having additional protein, you don't need the EAAs. It, only if the additional protein is giving her three yeah. grams. It's a, just a great way to bring it to... So, like this. Like with my breakfast. Um, I like to have three eggs. And I want to have it on my sourdough toast. Some people only can have the room for two eggs. They just don't have the room for more that after their coffee. But then that's not giving them a three gram bolus of lutein. So what should they do? Then they can have half a scoop of essential and then it kind of ups their eggs to that perfect three grams. Yeah, let's just say you only have half the protein you need. You only have 15 grams of protein from two eggs or something like that. that and then you do another half serving of essential. So you don't need the full one if you've got some protein. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so this is a good one. Um, Penny, I'm interested in your personal weight gain us while, while building muscle. The number on the scale is a hard thing for me. I've been lifting heavy for years. But I feel like the aminos have helped build more muscle recently, or maybe it's all in my head. But I'm trying to figure out how to differentiate the weight on the scale from fat versus muscle. Clearly, I have added both, she said. So if Pearl could discuss specifics, I was this, then lost muscle, but gained fat, and I was this, but now look better at this? I don't know. I assume others are noticing similar improvements that can make the scale a worse enemy. So, I mean... Well, Good question. Yes, Penny. I mean, clothes can be a help, but not also because sometimes you can gain some lean muscle tissue on the thighs that, and and, your, and the glutes that make your jeans fit a bit tighter. But it's not because of fat. Yeah. Um, I don't really worry about the scale personally myself. I feel like a pinch test helps, and you can also get those scales mm -hmm. that actually kind of like break apart how much lean muscle tissue, and then but they are expensive. So well, there's that. Here's what I think, you know, as we get into perimenopause and pause years, our bodies want to gain fat. And, um, and so that's kind of what happens unless we learn to eat in a way, the trim healthy way, but the trim healthy way with wisdom, which is what a whole book's going to be about, which is sometimes not just throwing all the fats in there, but just being a little bit lighter and getting those e-meals, lots of them as we've talked about, that will help. I, since I've, I was started at goal weight when I started, um, you know, using lift it, he, lifting heavier weights. I'm, and starting using essential. Yeah, I'm muscles. heavier now, but I do not have more fat. I have less fat. Yeah. So yeah. I have built muscle, but I can pinch less yeah. fat on my body. I'm leaner. When I, you yeah. know, sometimes when I just feel my body, it feels completely I different. I have never had a six pack, right? No. Now, I am about 15 pounds up on the scale mm -hmm. since getting into resistance training. 
and essential amino acids, but I'm actually starting to see yeah. a six pack. I don't even want a six pack. But it's just, it's, so that's how much the fat is going away, but the muscle yeah. is gaining. So there, it, But you know, um, if you're starting your strength training and getting more protein significantly overweight, that will slowly, it won't look like big dips on the scale, mm -hmm. but it should slowly go down into a more, um, just a healthier. But it's weight. not just you noticing it. Even our um, ex-Marine uh, trainer, Cal, who yeah. if anyone's been on our Tribe Healthy, he's just such a, a knowledgeable guy on training and, and um, resistance exercise, but he has noticed a difference personally since using essential amino acids. Absolutely. He's like, girls, this stuff works. Yeah. At building the lean muscle um, We've tissue. got so many questions. We need to get to them. Shiley, Shiley says... Can I ask a question? Yeah, Shiley says, I'm obviously not a man, but I'd ordered the Optimized Men WOD recovery shake for my husband. WOD stands for workout of the day. And actually, that's in our bundle. That's on sale today. What On sale today, we've got the... Essential optimized plant protein. So go to your emails. You don't want to you, you you don't want to miss this. It's fifteen bucks off and the workout of the day. And it, that's from the optimized men. But no, she it's said, for the undefeated men. Yeah, undefeated men. She said, can I use it too, or is it just for men? But Arden's actually here. I use the stuff because Arden, my son, brings it over to my house to try. For he actually brings it over for well, for my husband. But I end up like snitching into it because I love it. There's nothing in it that you can't take as a woman, right? Yeah, it's not going to grow your mustache or you know, anything. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we, we designed it with like men in mind, but uh, women can take it. Absolutely. Yeah. So those of you who have it, I haven't been on our party, but you've never been on a live yeah, I know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but those of you that haven't seen him and Trina Cal have, have started a whole kind of brother brand to our sister yeah. brand called Optimize Men. Um, under, why do I yes. call it out of nice men? I don't do know. know. But optimized is not a bad term for men. <laughs> optimized. Yeah. It's what we're working towards, so yeah. But yeah. your, your guys' products, they're actually super yummy. And some of the women have been like saying, well, can I just take him? And we're like, yeah. They've upped the game. They're making us start to get yeah. a little sweat. Like, okay, we need to, like we need good, to start working like on our good challenge. A good yeah. challenge. We're yeah. challenged because their so stuff tastes good. What are your, I mean, you're obviously... As many of you know, Arden came from stage four cancer where his whole body was emaciated, no muscle on his body. Don't you buy Seth Barrett's? He is he always makes me do this. <laughs> he, is, he has built his whole body back um, despite so many challenges. So what is your kind of supplementation routine? Well, I'm, I'm a bit of like a gear junkie and a supplement junkie. Like my wife has like in our cabinet, just supplements everywhere. But my routine, I mean, I've tried to stick to like natural raw forms of protein, but right, like right now I do a lot of protein powder, but I don't really count that in my protein. Oh, intake. really? Yeah, I only count the raw forms of protein. Oh, Even wow. though I still take protein powder and essential amino acids and yeah. the recovery shake, I don't count anything as like my protein intake unless it's raw form. But Whoa. just to make sure I know I got a lot of protein coming in. And what would you say to the woman that, you know, earlier she was talking about, hey, I, I'm heavier on the scale. Um, you know, she was kind of worrying about that. What would you say to I that? I hate scales. Yeah. I hate them. They're the worst. Um, honestly, just pay attention to how you feel, how you, how you like, I, I like the, the skin pinching method, but also how you feel, how strong you're coming, like, becoming. Like, if you're working out consistently in the gym mm -hmm. and you're able to, like, to see certain signs, like, hey, I, I can do, like, you know, 10 more pounds of this mm -hmm. or a few more reps, those are all signs that you're gaining more muscle and that's, that's good. Here's a, qu a question from Katie Castelli. How many grams of protein should we take? Is it one to one ratio of our ideal weight? Well, so, I suppose it depends on your goals, right, yeah, Arden? Like, because Arden, oh my goodness, you take, he takes um, actually a, a protein to his, to his goal weight, which yeah, is- one, one gram of pro, um, protein, one gram of protein per goal. And his goal weight, weight is up. But, but you see, that, and that's the way the macro people do, and I understand that. But you see, it is more important actually to get per meal than per day. And really, we focus on per meal, which is the basics is 25 to 30 grams per meal at least four times a day. So if you get it, I shoot for five, good. but yeah, yeah, not always do I get it in. Yeah. yeah. So you know, some four, people four, can say, okay, I want to shoot for my protein grams of goal weight per day, and they have it in just one or two meals, and then it's not balanced throughout the day, so you're not using it properly. There's only a certain kind of protein that can break down that slowly, that can be, you know, 
maybe maybe you'll use it like that, but it's not not it's not the case with all kinds of proteins. Yeah, you and don't you, have to go as, as as excessive as I do. Like this. and it's better to have that bolus too that that triggers muscle synthesis. But you you have protein all through the day anyway. I do. It's I just mean, that you have a lot more with than the that. amount of protein that my yeah. goal protein that I have to yeah. like intake of the day, I end up having that you know sixty or more yeah. grams of protein depending on the meal. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. So um, Dawn said. But can I just say yeah, something sure. really quickly to interrupt? Because it's such an interesting fact, and the fact that you brought up the fact that he has come back from challenges. I know. And one of his main um, ideas in coming back from these challenges is consuming protein and getting in that gym and lifting heavy things. Because it's incredible for your immune system. Can you yeah. talk about that a little well, bit, Arden? Because it's not just about a weight loss. It's not just about you know looking good. It's actually about health and longevity. Well, it's health, longevity. It's about being the best. Like I'm as a man, I want to be prepared for everything. And I think even women should be prepared for as many things that life throws at them as well. And we should be challenging ourselves to like all sorts of challenges. Not not saying you should do like crazy things that. Our, the human body isn't built for, but we are built for incredible things. We can handle so much. Like, you know, so many people handle all these, like, I'm, I'm, I didn't believe at one point in the beginning of my cancer journey that I would be here today because of all the treatment that I went through. Because you felt like trash. But the human body, God made it so it can handle so much. We can handle so much adversity, so much strain. Not saying that we should willingly do so, but with working out, we need to challenge ourselves. We're built to challenge ourselves. You see those, you know, smart dogs out there, uh, Australian Shepherds, German Shepherds. Uh, if you don't challenge them with like training or certain things, they actually go crazy. They go mental. <laughs> they end up eating your chickens or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But I think that, you know, you coming back, you building yourself from the emaciated state. If you go to their web website, uh, um, Undefeated, uh, man. Undefeated Man, I'm not gonna say Optimize. <laughs> I mean, there's a picture of you at not at your worst. No, but that was I was actually getting better. I'm saving, what we were I'm like. saving all the crazy photos for later. But, but so you have had to kind of go extreme with protein. A lot of people say, well, when you're you know coming back from a cancer journey, you you should shun protein. But it has built you yeah. into something. I'm a firm believer that you know muscle gain, mm -hmm. not just for like the fitness and looking good. That is a very small portion of why I do it. That is a plus, but it's all for longevity. And I'm a firm believer that muscle gain helps fight. A majority of sicknesses or diseases. I'm a mm -hmm. firm believer of it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're missing a lot of questions Someone, that are coming she said, in. She said about what we said there, she yeah. said, um, if you need four protein fuel lanes of 25 to 30 grams, can you count essential as one of them? Yes, yes you, can. you can. And then if we want to lose a lot of weight, should we still be having protein to go weight or should it be to the current weight? It should be, be to, to go weight. No, it should be to the no, if you're 300 pounds, yeah, you don't right, do right, that. Right, it's right, it's right, to right. your goal. I get that. Yeah. Right. But remember, total is not as important as each meal. Just and shoot for about four um, protein meals a day with about 25 grams of protein. Yes, but uh, the, the lutein bolus is important too. Um, yeah. Here is one from Dawn. I mean, thanks, Arden. You can stick yeah. around. You, yeah. you don't you have to me, run off. I'm being kicked out now. <laughs> no, can I okay. ask this question from, from Dawn? Sounds <laughs> by ours. Yeah. Sounds like you will cover this, but I'm going to add working out with you to my morning. Yay! Yay. Awesome, Dawn. Should I eat breakfast, then work out, then drink EAA? Is it okay to work out first and have breakfast and EAA? Mm -hmm. What a great can I take this question. One? Yes, you can. I'll start. So, if you have never worked out before in the morning, Dawn, I would say try to put it at another time of the day because working out in the morning is the toughest time. But if that's your only window, fine, do it. Do okay. it. The reason why we say toughest time is for sustainability because yeah. you might have the, the uh, willpower and the excitement and the inspiration to have your alarm set and to, to work out in the morning. But then for most of us, that, that romance and that idea goes away about real three, quick. Two to three weeks later, you're like, 5 a.m.? No. That's it's nice insanity. to have your morning coffee and have a little bit of But in our, if that's your only time in our Tribe Healthy, we have short workouts. We have 10 minute ones, so you could fit that in. Here's what Serene and I believe, and there's another question about this. You hear about fasted workouts all over the internet? Yeah. Don't. Not for women. Don't yeah. do a fasted workout. But you don't need to eat a big meal before that early morning workout. All you need is get some essential into you because your, your muscles have lost 
or a lot of their amino acids and a little bit of fruit. So you'll be catabolic in the morning if you work out with, without any amino acids in your in your bloodstream you just your your muscles are going to have a hard time too giving their all and so having the amino acids is going to have like the nutrients in the cupboard that your muscles need but also they're going to give you energy mm -hmm. they're an incredible energy fuel for a workout yeah they really are so so just a little bit of fast fruit why do we say fruit because it tells your adrenals that you're okay you're about to do something quite stressful early in the morning which is Use your muscles. We, the reason why we say a juicy fast fruit is because it gets in there really quickly. And I, don't worry about your blood sugar because your muscles are going to use it up. And they're starved and they're hungry. Yeah. So I um, sometimes, for that reason, will have like a teaspoon of raw manuka honey. Yeah, if you can't do fruit, just have a little bit of watermelon cut up or something cut up, not canned fruit. You don't want that. Half an apple. Those little cuties. Yeah. Those little mandarin cuties are good too. Half a banana. Anything quick. Mm -hmm. With the essential. Do that. And then after you're done still have your full protein breakfast yeah. with your 25 grams of protein because yeah. your your essential was for your starved muscles yes okay and for energy all right roberta has a question uh several <laughs> how many times a day Can may i answer I, this yes may i take the eaas the essential and she has a second part to the question but um I'll, we'll just start with the simple part of the question there for safety if we're just talking about safety and we're not bringing budget and we're not bringing sanity where, you know, we really should still eat whole foods because yeah. that's what God created us for. Um, we're just talking safety. They are safe. Mm. They have done studies on, on people taking up to 40 grams of EAAs a day for, for a couple of years and not seeing any determinant. And 40, that's a lot. That's a lot of EAAs. And so most people aren't going to get up there. I've actually took, taken 40 a day for about a week especially if recovering from injury or a back injury. Um, I just feel like that was just, just great for my, for my muscle and for repair. But um, I, I think the best thing is just to concentrate on the whole food forms of protein and just have the EAAs like an exercise um, helper and then to round up those meals. Now, this Well, another I would like to add to this though, but if you read the two books that I read that started me on my geeky EAA journey, um, in, and they are in Search for the Perfect Protein by Dr. Minkoff, and then um, The Perfect Protein. No, it, uh, it's by Dr. Robert Wolf, yeah. his book. I don't I forget the title. Yeah. It's about amino acids. Yeah. Okay, he, they both say, and they are the fathers of amino acids, they know more than all the other doctors, and then undertaken hundreds of research studies. They put cancer patients on Yes, them. they believe that especially as we're aging, people over 40, but especially over 50, should use them twice a day. Why? We have yeah. more rep, rep, uh, repair and tear that mm -hmm. needs to be mended in our bodies. And those EEAs twice a day along with our other proteins, they say that's kind of the basics what you need now, but a lot of us can't afford that. You know, if yeah. you're on a frugal budget, if you're very frugal, just save it for your post-strength training mm -hmm. workouts. And if you're, you're not on a budget, you can even move away from just muscle and just talk vanity. They're incredible for the skin. Yeah. Amazing for anti-aging for the skin. They're incredible. Roberta had a second question. Yeah. If I want to have some collagen in my coffee and optimize plant protein it's with my... It's the same question, but, but, but it's a good example of what she meant by is it too many... But like, hold so, on, finish it with yeah. my breakfast. But pre-workout, I consumed a bit of fruit and some EAAs. Is yeah. that too much? So what she's saying is she's having collagen, she's having OPP. OPP has um, some leucine added and some other essential amino acids to optimize it. And then she's having EA. She's like, wow, am I just overdoing these amino acids? You're not overdoing it on a safety point. I, I'm not worried about that at all. But it's just great in your head to think, always think whole food protein and then use the supplements as that to supplement your whole foods. Oh, thank you. Protein Nutrition, A Guide to Amino Acid Protein Nutrition by Dr. You Robert know, I stole those books. If you're ever looking for them, they're I've on my desk. It was her. Okay, so this is yeah. a good one from Jane. Jane said, I'm a, an old codger. <laughs> oh, can I just talk to you about old codger just there? Just there. Not only should the older people, people over 40, start taking it twice a day if their budget can allow it, is because when you're young, you can build muscle from um, you know the glucose. You can just build it from bread. I mean, you, it's from the insulin pathway. But when you're older, you usually build muscle easier by the leucine well, pathway. Yes. And the and the essential amino acids are leucine heavy. We'll get back to Jane, but I see a question come up from Anna. Could you ladies talk? to uh, speak on the use of EAA for someone with kidney disease. For example, someone 
with diabetes, sorry, I'm compressing more, and has now progressed to kidney, uh, kidney failure. Can EAAs help get protein in without taxing the kidneys? What a good question, yeah. and yes, double yes. So um, Dr. Robert Wolf says, there may be no better solution for people with kidney problems than EAAs. Because they it, can actually, it bypasses the kidneys. It not only does it provide you with protein without your kidneys get involved, it actually has shown in studies to reverse kidney disease. Mm -hmm. Incredible. So yeah. So um, anyone with also with wasting diseases like cancer, mm -hmm. which is a wasting disease, mm -hmm. essential amino acids are brilliant for that. Yeah, and we're not doctors, so we're not telling you to take them when if you have. But cancer. they should get the books. These two books we recommend. Mm -hmm. them. Would you say yes. them again, Pearl? Um, it's Dr. Minkoff's one and Robert Wolf. Search Wolf's for one. the perfect protein mm -hmm. and Dr. Robert Wolf, a guide to amino acid nutrition. Jane says, "I'm an old or older codger. I want to strength train, but have not managed to start." Would taking EAAs benefit yes. me in any way? And if so, how does it benefit someone who is not strength training? By the way, I find the taste very pleasant and just drink it in water. I'll tell you how it benefits if you're not strength training because it helps prevent muscle breakdown. So, you know, after a certain age, we go into what's called sarcopenia and our muscles are just naturally breaking down and we just lose lean muscle tissue. But essential helps your body retain muscle tissue. So you're still gonna have some breakdown. You know, it's, it's best if we can um, start lifting and, and using resistance to help um, contend for muscle as we age. But it will help with um, maintaining that muscle and keeping it there longer. Yes. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of YouTube questions coming in too. Cindy said she's rebounding while watching two oh, birds with one stone. Um, she says, Melly, Melly, Melly is on YouTube. What about EAAs for preteens? Yep. Girls, any safe or even young children? Any studies supporting EAAs used to increase focus in children? That's the other thing. Mm -hmm. Even even if you're not strength training, brain. Yeah. It um, really supports the neurotransmitters in your brain, your EAAs, and so actually it has been found very therapeutic in people with ADD, mm -hmm. all sorts of things like that. Let's also, our essential thing. amino acids are, um, are designed with glycine. We, we put it in there as a, as a help for the delivery system mm -hmm. um, because we have glycine receptors down our esophagus and it's just helping our essential amino acids get into the cells faster. But glycine is actually a wonderful nootropic yes. and it's a wonderful sleep aid. Taking essential right before bed actually helps calm the mind. And, is and a, actually, is a we've got a couple relaxer. of questions. Some people, That's, can I ask, yeah. Some people said, why does it make me drowsy? Maybe you're a little bit more sensitive to the glycine than others. Like I'm more sensitive to coffee. That's why I'm talking my head off and not letting you have a chance. Um, some people can take caffeine and feel a little more relaxed. I can't. So maybe some people take our essential. They're more sensitive to the glycine, but it's not a bad thing. It's just glycine is relaxing you. Yeah, I, I would still, unless you're about to fall asleep, if you early morning workout before breakfast, I would still take it before you work out. Oh, I don't, oh no, it's, it's not, not going to put you to sleep. No, actually, glycine is an incredible enhancer for muscle synthesis. Very Oh, but what about the preteen girls? So, essential can be great for children, for preteens, yeah. Because some of them just do not get enough meat protein into their diet, mm -hmm. you know, especially girls at that age. Yeah. Um, so it can be fantastic. We would never say, hey, just give essential to people, they'll be fine, no need for protein. We're all about natural protein And how many times we've said over and over I and know. over again. But this is a supplement, teens, concentrate yes. on whole foods. Yeah. But you know, supplements are helpers and they're wonderful. Okay, so Shannon says, I take EAAs, and Serena and I are both gonna kind of nerd out and differ on this. I take EAAs after I work out. Hey, you guys, if there's any really good questions that come in, you, you tell us and we'll, we'll take them. We don't want bad questions. <laughs> I take EAs after I work out. Should I also take a serving of whey with it? Is the whey necessary if I'm gonna eat lunch within an hour of working out? Also, should I include a few carbs post-workout to restore glycogen stores? Or would it just be okay to have the carb with lunch? Lots of questions, let's take one at a time. Should I take the whey with essential? Okay, do you want me to geek out? I want you to be reasonable for everyone and then say how you geek out. Okay, reasonable. Um, if you're going to have lunch within an hour, just take your EAAs yeah. if you're just a normal exerciser who's starting to lift weights and you're doing a good push 25 with Pearl or something. That's fine, you were covered, that's brilliant. Um, let's talk about the other part before I geek, with, geek out with my own personal regime. Also should include a few cars post-workout. Always, yes, even if you're just a normal 
person yes, doing post workout not not if you're eating within an hour or so but you know if you're gonna yeah. have an e lunch no. after that eaa's yeah. you're, you're fine you're fine but um but if you were actually were doing a very intensive hit workout pearl she was doing an intensive hit workout yeah or lifting a heavy 45 like, with we don't me like intensive hit workouts no but if she was yeah. so she's pre-menopausal maybe yeah. in her 20s and she can do a, an intensive hit workout meaning longer than 20 minutes um, and if she's doing strong 45 with me from, from Tribe Healthy, I would like her to take um, a glycogen just a little bit with well, that Well, we always protein. usually, we take creatine and that's another question coming up and but we that's like not it with like, honey. Yeah. We so, take it with honey. Yeah, take a little honey with, yeah. in your essential with your creatine or, or you, maybe just take half a banana and it's just going to help you while you prepare the lunch, not be kind of like, because why? Because your cortisol will be a little bit stressed out. And if your body has just done this big workout and you're not putting back that glycogen store um, after intensity, I think that the it, it helps your adrenals be a bit more relaxed, giving a little carbon there. Now, geeking out with me, um, I do add whey to my EAAs. But not a full serve. No, I add two tablespoons of the plain whey. And that's because EAAs are wonderful. They get in there fast and they're like rocket fuel to your muscle tissues. But I also, I don't eat within an hour mm -hmm. after working out because working out actually satiates me. I don't know why, yeah, it just makes me, eat. I just don't want to eat. And so I kind of like want to sustain that muscle synthesis window too. So I get that great muscle synthesis trigger from the EAAs and I get a good window of muscle um, synthesis and muscle repair, but then I want to sustain it a little bit longer, like for a two hour window. And that way is a little slower, even though it's still a fast protein, it's a little slower than the EAAs. So I get that sustained muscle nurturing until my lunch, which is two hours later. You know why, there is a reason why, you know, we get very full after a workout. I don't know, do you guys get very full after? I'm talking about a strength training workout, not just a little bit of, you know, going on the treadmill. But after I strength train for that next hour, I too could, cannot think of eating a big meal, but science has shown why. It releases GLP-1 secretion in your mm -hmm. gut. It's a very powerful releaser. And so, I don't know if you guys find that way, but I secrete GLP-1 hormones after my workouts and I can't think of eating a big meal, but that's why. Um, so, hey, there's some that came in on, on the YouTube and there's, do EAAs increase a fer fertility or affect fertility at all? Do you know about that, Sereni? I know that they don't decrease it. Yeah. I know that. Um, and then, is collagen still recommended? The emphasis has been on smart protein fueling and I'm wondering if I'm wasting my money buying collagen oh we love collagen we love what um, was the question because i was still is collagen still worth it um the emphasis has been on boluses of lutein and collagen is worth it for what collagen is great for um it's like if you're brushing your teeth is still a hairbrush still worth it yeah um you know both brushes are great you know yeah. but it's depending on your budget maybe you care more about your teeth than your hair like what do you care about if you're but if it's all about budget just choose which one i probably would choose the one that was more muscle um contending but see collagen is a beautiful amazing um digestive aid it supports your gut and it's incredible for the skin hair nails it's a beauty protein and but it's not complete it's not complete so if you want to put some in your coffee and then also have your eggs and let's say you have two eggs and some egg whites but you're having that collagen as well that's beautiful mm -hmm. but collagen alone always saying if you think i'm going to put collagen in my coffee and that's going to be my protein and i'm just going to have oatmeal i'm not going to have any other protein you're not doing it for your muscle fueling and why are we so, why is Serena and I so nerdy about muscle fueling lately? I know some people said, Trim Healthy used to be about having protein, but not this nerdy. Someone said on the Facebook group the other day, what's happened? Yeah, and why can't um, we just stay the same? And just, why can't it just be so simple? Well, it can stay simple. Mm -hmm. And I want those people that found freedom in, in just, you know, anchoring the meals around protein and um, just doing it simple that way. Stay there if it gives you freedom and enjoy it. You don't have to come contending muscle with us. We're doing this because it's making us rock our perimenopausal and menopausal years. Yes, it's helping us keep our girlish waistlines. It's helping us keep our immune system enhanced. It's it's we it's helping us. Uh, it's higher learning in the true and healthy. If you wanted to stay though happy in the simple way, we're not saying you have to come along. Yeah, we are kind of encouraging it though, because everything we do, we kind of get passionate about. I mean, that's nerd level one, right? Basic. Where's your protein? Nerd level one. 
Nerd level two is what we've already talked about here. 25 to 30 grams is what your body needs, girl. If you're getting less than that, you're not quite doing it, that's nerd level two. And then nerd level three is kind of where we live in Geekville, which is also get that two to three luchin gram bolus, because why? It's the boss of your muscles. It says build muscle. So there's three levels. You don't, if you're not ready for level three, don't get here yet. Just work your way up. There will be a time when you're ready. Um, I'm sure what she's saying here, but never mind. Lay says, can you speak on why Arden, come here, why yeah. Arden doesn't use collagen? I'm a breast cancer survivor, come here. And have to stay away from it, but I'm not sure if my thinking is right. Um, can you stay actually, away from collagen? No, no. Yeah. I did, I, I actually stayed away from all like protein powder and collagen while I was going mm -hmm. through cancer. The treatment, yeah. yeah. Just wanted to. They say just, to do that if you're on chemo or anything, well, stay away from. It's everything. also best whenever but you're going, yeah, whenever you're going through something yeah. like super life threatening and yeah. a sickness, you want to really just stick to the basics. Mm -hmm. Although it's when like you were having a stem that. cell transplant, they wanted you to have protein in your. Remember you were. Yeah, I mean, there was, there was a lot of crazy dietitians that I didn't yeah. really listen to, mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, if you're going through something, yeah. I would say just stick to the basics. Mm -hmm. It's raw form protein, just good whole food. Um, and uh, um, I eat protein powder and collagen now. I think the reason why um, he was doing that too is because you don't know what cancer is going to hijack and use to grow on. Well, there, Even healthy things like vitamin C. And it can. But I'm telling you this whole collagen and the breast cancer myth came from some studies. I know where it came from. I don't believe it. Yeah. No. That showed that um, collagen actually helped grow the cancer. Well, yes. Everything in our body helps grow cancer. It's not collagen specific, but collagen was used, but it was not supplemental collagen coming from exactly. food. Yeah. It was the collagen our body makes. Our body also uses, um, you know, other fibers to make uh, well, cancer um, cells. It uses anything exactly. it can. That's unfortunately, that's it, why well, cancer hijack, is, so, yeah. is so deadly and, and just yeah. ravages the human body because it masks itself by, you know, eating and using our own nutrients that yeah. we make and it, mm -hmm. it, it, and it just, but Take collagen up. with vitamin Actually, C yeah, no, is a cancer fighter, they mm, have found out. Yeah. But you know, adding forms like baobab or vitamin C, yeah. other things, makes, makes the collagen more usable. But as long as you've got that vitamin C in your diet, yeah. it makes it a lot we more We all believe safe. in the immune system, right? Yeah. We love the immune system. <laughs> cancer can hijack our own immune system and then use the immune system to protect itself yeah. and bring you down. And so it's not like collagen's bad or our immune system is bad. It's just there is times hey, when... We have to be a bit more careful. Yeah, now. this is Call Annie. Back in when you want yeah, me. thanks, Arden. Stay close. Annie says, This is super timely. Thanks for doing this. I listened to an older podcast and creatine was mentioned. Can you please address if Serene still uses creatine? If so, I'd love to know what to look for in a good creatine and what to avoid it. We got another question said, um, Creatine causes weight gain, doesn't it? Why no. do you guys use creatine? Yeah, I use creatine. I use it every day. I use it whether I work out or I don't work out. I use it on Sunday on my day off. I give it to my husband every day. My teenage boys hound me for it, and I'm like, no, get your own. <laughs> Stop using my stash. We love creatine. It's incredible for the brain. It's it's not just for muscle. It's incredible for anti-aging. It's incredible for the skin. It's it's amazing. It's actually the most studied safe supplement out there. It's been studied and it's the most studied supplement. But you can't use it as your only post-workout fuel. It's not a complete protein. It's a protein helper once again. Right, exactly. No, I don't, I don't, I use it as a, as a kind of an add-on. Um, and it's inexpensive too. I, I buy creatine monohydrate and sometimes I look for the stamp Crea Pure. We I like were actually that, coming out with our own enhanced one. But do you know that it, women don't need, yes, okay, it, do, it can put a couple of pounds on you, but that, those pounds are not fat. They are fluid and glycogen in your muscles because they help your muscles plump up with water, which what helps your muscles grow. And it helps the muscles look good. Yeah. Why does it help them grow? Because when your muscles are hydrated, they're allowing the nutrients to come in. And so the nutrients can kind of ride on the but, back but of the creatine. The dose is only three to five grams for a woman. It's low. And usually if there is a, a, a you know, a gain in the weight, it's like Pearl said, it's the water weight, but it's also lean muscle tissue. Yeah, oh yeah, and, and the study upon study have shown that it helps decrease fat. Yeah. So you might And not, if you're sensitive yeah. to it, um, and you notice that you just swell up a little bit with water, as soon as you go off that, 
that water usually, my ring will be just a little tiny little bit looser. So it's not fat. It's uh, not yeah. fat at all. I hold four to five pounds of water weight. Right? Come yeah, here, Odin. Yeah. But do you bulk up with it? How much? How many grams do you take? Um, I take 500, 5,000 milligrams. Which so is five like, grams. Yeah. Oh, that's only what yeah. we yeah. take. Yeah. 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 But, so like, I, I take that once each each and every day even when I'm not working Yeah, out. me too. Because yeah. guess what? It's brilliant for headaches. It really gives more oxygen and mm -hmm. glucose to the brain. So it's like a refresher of the brain, and I found it really helps with uh, headaches. But yeah, I generally keep like four to five pounds of water weight with, with taking I think yeah. men yeah. maybe more so, because my other son, Vision too, he just always looks more pumped on creatine. I don't. No, but I do. I keep a couple of pounds on with creatine, but I like those pounds. But I don't see them on you as well. Oh, I'm saying. Right. I don't no. see your bigger muscle. No. I just see a nice muscle, but I think... Um, this is a good question from Susan. Um, for those who don't respond well to the EAAs, for whatever reason she feels like she doesn't, what's a good quick post-workout alternative? Wait. I currently either eat lunch as soon as I'm home or I make a secret big boy shake with collagen and whey. Okay, if you're going to do that, make sure you have the full scoop of whey. Yeah, let, but can I talk about the secret big boy a shake? Because um, I wouldn't do the big what boy happened? shake post-workout. And I tell you why, because I believe if I remember right, because I believe that was one of my recipes, a secret big boy with the okra in it, mm -hmm. that's going to slow down that muscle, um, sorry, the protein getting into the muscle tissue. Post-workout, we want more of a faster um, protein uh, delivery. And so I wouldn't do the big boy then. I'd do a big boy maybe more in the afternoon or something like that, but not post-workout. lunch? Well, I just wouldn't add something so slowly. You know, okay, but so, what about this? And, and we talk about this in our book. But whey would be the best yeah. protein, and I'd have the full a third of a cup. You'd have to have a third of a cup to get the protein. And if you can't do whey, uh, go on to our website for our optimized plant protein because that has your bolus too, and do one of the shakes there. The ones on the recipes are good. But there's some people, Serene, that aren't going to be all into the supplements and the powders, mm -hmm. and they're like, Pearl and Serene, I just want to eat a meal of whole foods Brilliant. after my workout. Can I do it? Yes. yes. Ha um, have tuna. Or four to six ounces yeah. of lean chicken. Or egg beef. whites added to your eggs. Yeah, tuna. It's the reason good. why I didn't say just eggs, because it takes a lot of eggs to get to the full 25 grams. And this is just it's your like way, five, and you shouldn't five. be shamed for doing that no. just because you're not taking protein powders. It's just a different way of doing it. Slower to get in your muscles. Who cares? Yeah. You'll still do great. You'll be brilliant. Yeah. So There's yes, there are ways of doing it. There's a question that Arden really wants us to answer. I have whey, okay, can you read that? Yeah, because I have whey protein to use. Oh, it went, it went. You gotta touch the screen. Oh, do I? Oh yeah. I have whey protein to use up, but your nerd protein potty said some people should only use it after workouts. I am wondering if I should buy the EAA to use before workouts and on off workout days and then use the whey after my workouts. So here's the deal. Um, some people found, and this is not for everybody, some people found that when they were getting into the peri and postmenopause and the metabolisms were kind of really slowing down, when they would do a shake with whey, not um, around a workout, and they're just sitting out in the office all day and doing shakes for their lunch or just shakes whenever, they were finding that they weren't burning it as well as they used to. And there's many, many reasons that that could have been though too. It could be the fact that they were turning into perimenopause or anything could yeah. have been doing that. Exactly. So, they, they were probably, so we don't want to blame whey. We don't want to blame whey, but we are coming out with optimized whey that actually kind of gets it into your muscle cells faster. It's not going to sit in your bloodstream so strong. But what we do believe since we've studied into Although this... Although whey actually yeah. has incredible postprandial um, blood sugar lowering capability. It really does and we don't know what else was in the shakes people were doing and we know that when women go to peri and post menopausal They kind of burn all fuel slower. Yeah, sitting behind a desk too if that was the situation yeah. and then going into those Hormone tanking years. I think that was the reason but are EAA is faster to your muscles. Yes. Yeah. Are they lower calorie? Yes, mm -hmm. you might find What you're about to do here will be perfect for you actually. Yeah, but then you know just to just Trump whey, whey yeah. does produce GLP-1 more than other proteins. And yeah, yeah, whey produces GLP-1. So there's a yes, satiating there's, to So it. There's, there's the upside and the downside. Mm -hmm. it, it depends what you want, whether you want to feel fuller and have less food noise, which whey does, or whether you want to get those EAA straight to your muscles and have less calories. 
really this is your journey and your unique journey and there's no absolutely wrong or right. We don't bring out another protein to say all the rest are crap, like put them down the toilet. Yeah. We're just offering other options because everyone's journey is very unique and, and um, we all kind of come to a, a different way of doing things. We just want to give you all of these ingredients the, um, so that you can just come but up with I your favorite think, way. You know, let's just say, I'll share you, with you guys how I use my proteins throughout the day, right? And obviously, I'm not saying you have to buy every one of our proteins, but I find they make my life easier, more yummy, and, and I get better results. So I do use them all, but I will show you how I do I it. I use them all too. So um, for breakfast, I usually have oatmeal or quinoa on, on weekends, I'll, I'll have an egg breakfast, but most days I have um, oatmeal or quinoa, well, they really don't have a lot of protein to speak of. So I use our optimized plant protein and I do it in the nested way I've described. I put it with some liquid almond milk and water in the bottom of my bowl and put my oatmeal, cinnamon, gentle sweet, all the toppings. So that's great. And then I often have some collagen in my coffee too, just for the added skin hair bonus. Guts. Yeah, gut. So then at lunchtime, um, generally I just eat tuna or some chicken breasts. Um, if I don't have enough protein in my lunch, I will add a half a scoop of EAAs. But I'm telling you when I take my EAAs is when I work out in the mid morning, that's when I work out. So I take them right then, whether I work out or whether I don't. They're my mid morning thing. And then I only use them later in the day if I don't have a meal or snack that doesn't have enough mm -hmm. protein. So really that's basically so simple. And I might have a whey shake in the afternoon, maybe for an afternoon snack or something. Yeah. So, so really I'm having mostly whole proteins, but they're my helpers. And um, it's just, it's so simple mm -hmm. for me. I kind of do a mix mix. So in the morning for breakfast, it's either eggs or oatmeal, but I usually will have half a scoop of Essential no matter what. Really? Yeah, for breakfast. Um, and so, because usually if I have the three eggs, I still need mm -hmm. the half. And if I'm having the oatmeal and I'm, uh, I, I don't know why, I just don't, I, I just like Essential. And so I do that, it's just part of my breakfast morning. And then I will work out like Pearl said around mid morning and I will take the other half of Essential right before working out to give me a little bit of a prime. And then afterwards I'll take Essential with the two tablespoons away because I'm a psychopath about it all. So hold on, can I? Get, you take half a scoop of essential before you work out and the other half with your way after you work out mm -hmm. because you're a geek to yeah. the geekiest geeks. Yeah. And then you might have way later in the day if you want to show. Oh, I have way during the day, yeah. but that's something you'll find out in yeah. our um, Trim Healthy Wisdom book. And we do it in a way just to kind of... We mix it with kefir and to get it into... But yeah, we've got a lot of th fun things coming out. Right what am I looking at? So, Arden, we have Jersey cows. Could I use fresh... Homemade raw whey. Oh no! How much would be equivalent to whey powder? It's exactly. I know it sounds the same, but it's exactly the opposite. So, whey protein isolate has had all the lactose and sugars removed. Yes, but if she's at gold weight, there's nothing healthier than that liquid gold. That oh, whey yeah. that's been pulled out. You know, um, it's absolutely incredible. But it's not the really fact the is not in there. But the protein is in the white. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not the protein. Well, they just have to concentrate yeah. it so much to get whey protein. So you, when you have a whey powder, it's either concentrate or isolate. It's not that actually But electrolytes healing. and minerals mm. and, and gut healing peptides, amazing. There's, it's brilliant. Whey Drink is it. so have healthy. It, but she's, she's asking for her husband who has severe wasting. If he has severe wasting, that's not the right thing for yes, him. Yes, but, but he could have it instead yeah. of water. Yeah, it's so good and healthy. Mm -hmm. It's just, it doesn't have the protein isolated from it. Um, so you'd have to probably drink so, so, so much amount to get that enough protein, mm -hmm. right, Serena? Yeah, yeah. Um, I know we've got a lot of other questions. How long have we been going for? Oh, we've still got nine minutes. You guys have hung with us, You're man. Amazing. You guys have hung. Um, okay. Oh, what does it say about Danny? Okay, it says... Oh, Joy says, on a recent podcast of yours, Danny said he was adding just a little EAA's powder to his oatmeal but not the full scant tablespoon. And we told him, what but the heck like, are you doing, touch. Danny? I had been doing this too. I didn't understand why this is not a good idea if it brought the protein count up to the required 25 grams. This is a good question. Because Can you're you... counting the oats in the protein? No. I never Can do you that. please explain again why we shouldn't use less than a serving of EAAs if we are adding it to a meal that already has some protein? You, you, 
Your oatmeal only has five grams at the most, okay? So that's If you're having an egg on the side for a crossover meal, or if you've got egg whites on the side to finish off your e-meal, or if you've got a other form of protein, that's fine. You'd only need to add a little bit to your... To your for it. But if you're counting the oats as your protein, uh, it's never a good idea to count your carbs as, as your yeah. protein source. I don't usually count you my don't, oats. You don't count your quinoa, and there's more protein in quinoa. Than Here's what I want to explain, and this is probably something we should have discussed at the very beginning, but we've got more people listening now than then, so this is good. I'm going to explain something right now. When you are taking essential EAAs or any of our optimized protein that have EAAs to them, we put something on them that says bioequivalent to, and it is much greater than the amount of protein in there. So, so with our optimized plant protein, there's only 16 grams plant protein, right? But we say 48 grams protein. How on earth can we say that? Because the studies have shown that when you optimize a protein, take a small amount of protein and put essential amino acids with it, it takes the protein power yeah. much more extraordinarily in your body. Um, but you don't pull back and think, because it says 48, I now only need 20. No, what you do is just count. Don't count the power, yeah. still count the grams. Yeah, so count the, what I say, even for our EAAs, even though they say 90 something bioequivalent protein, our optimized says 48, what, what you can count them as to be safe is complete. What's complete? 25 to 30. So even though they have the power of those other full things and you can actually say that, and if you want to count them in your day, that's fine, but you'll have to be fine with over 200 of, of, of protein grams in your meal. You should just count it and say, this, if I take the full serving, I am fully complete. I have my, I have my what would be equivalent to 25 to 30 grams all covered, but I actually have more. But why would you go then with, with let's just say you have no protein in your meal, why would you only take like a third of what you need to be complete? Yes. Does you, that make sense? You count, what Pearl's saying is you count the protein grams, the com, what, we call, what we're calling complete. Count the complete, don't count the power. They really need yeah. to realize. Just count, just say it's complete. But you're saying, okay, my oatmeal has five grams. So let's see if I'm using essential, that's 90 something. So I only need to use half a teaspoon rather than a full tablespoon to get 25. No, because you know what? Your muscles will use that power. And the 25 is just a great window of what your body can utilize at, at one point, um, the complete. Uh, but you, let the power do over yeah. and above. Because that power is not hurting you. You see, the power is fantastic and the power is safe. So take the power. If you don't, and if you have no protein, go for the full power. If you have some substantial protein, go for the half of the power. But we're saying if you don't have protein, go for the full power. Does that make sense, you guys? Or are you still confusing? Like confusing. Are, you, are you guys confused? In my head, I see <laughs> I, it so I'm well. not confused in my head, but for yeah, them, I, I think Okay, I'm let's see if anyone's confused because we've got lots of questions and we've only got five minutes. Oh my goodness. Is Angela says yes. it's a full serving of the o optimized plant protein, a complete serving of lucene. It's yes. three grams, it's full. Mm -hmm. It's actually more than full. So two to three is what you need in studies, but we went for the three. Mm -hmm. um, so I want to know if you guys are still confused. Someone over here on YouTube has a question for you. Serena, Serena I love your enthusiasm, but could you please let Pearl finish an answer without interrupting her? It's hard to follow Pearl's complete answer with the interruptions. Jackie, my apologies. <laughs> My apologies, my apologies. I did not I mean to interrupt. Thank you for that. your instructive criticism, and I will put it into action. Oh. oh my goodness, you should see the people in this room laughing at that. I do the same to you, though. I think it's great. Oh That's good. my goodness. Um, it, guys, mm -hmm. you're not telling me if you're still it's confused. It's so funny that I read that one too. I that was know. the one I went to read. It was good for me. Thank you, Lord. Holy Spirit's teaching me. <laughs> Mari says, I might have missed the answer. Will the optimized whey be good for people with insulin resistance? Yes, it really will. But even whey itself, plain whey, is fantastic for insulin resistance, honestly. Um, we've looked into a lot of studies lately on that over time. It is fantastic. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that, she says. Aww. You're appreciated. Thank you, Jackie. <laughs> appreciate it. Uh, let's see. It makes sense to me, Christina. You got it. That is so awesome. Yay. Well, um, we do one. Look, we're getting more and more people. Why should we go? 
If you want to hear this, let's do a little one more question. Um, should, oh, some of these, okay, Rebecca, a lot of these are the same thing, but phrased in different ways, but maybe if you kind of see your question differently, you get it. If checking your macros, does a total protein in a meal count like the 25 to 30 or only pure animal protein sources like cottage cheese, yogurt, eggs, meat, etc.? No, you can count EAAs as well as those because EAAs, people say, oh, they're not a real protein. That's baloney. Yeah. They are the essence of real protein. They're actually real protein stripped down to its very nature. So you eat a piece of meat, that's good protein, but your body is stripping things down to go find those essential amino acids. Mm -hmm. And essential amino acids are already in their broken down form. Um, I'm glad it makes sense to you, Adine. Um, oh, this is a good one. Read, read out and say if it's too much, Linda. So my afternoon snack looks like this. One cup of kefir, three tablespoons of OPP, optimized plant protein, three tablespoons of baobab, one tablespoon of essential amino acids, sweetener, lemon juice, too much. Is using OPP and EAA together not necessary? Yes, it's not necessary. Both have a three gram bolus of lucine, mm -hmm. so you really got six there. Um, you don't need it. You don't need it, it's a waste of money. You also said you're going to optimize your collagen and whey. Will we still need EAAs in our day if we're getting one or two servings a day of the optimized products? Uh, it's Really, it's just how you, if you wanna get it from collagen, if you wanna to get to whey. EAAs is gonna be actually more furnished in a balanced way because we're going to optimize the collagen to give it a, a trigger to your muscles, but it will not have the, the furnishing of the other essential amino acids in such the perfect balance. It's hard to take a, a product like collagen that's not very balanced because it's, it's glycine heavy, it's proline heavy, um, it doesn't really have the, the methionone, the tryptophan, the stuff that really like uh, works on the muscle. So to actually make it furnished or balanced, it would, it would taste gross. Um, so we're going to trigger it so it's more helpful, mm -hmm. uh, but I still think EAA stands alone as a very broad spectrum covered uh, protein product. Yeah, the EAA is really, if you want fast, fast protein to your, work, to your workout, to your muscles after your workout, they're the best. So. But, but what I'm saying is most scientifically balance like you have all of the essential amino acids lined up in the exact amount that it needs to be for optimized muscle optimized um brain focus yeah no that's so true so yeah we're still fans of essential but honestly you know in the end your budget can only afford what your budget can only afford and if you love to have the chocolate way coming yeah. out soon the optimized chocolate way and that's your best way and you can't afford the others, you go girl, yeah. that's your best route. In fact, whey is fantastic post-workout. You yeah. know, it's, it's brilliant. So you have a, if you just chose whey, you could have a great post-workout. Uh, Especially food. our optimized yes, version. Yes, you have out. a great yummy, it's very, it's probably one of the yummiest um, for your afternoon, you know, shakes. Um, it's, it's, it's also good on the side of oatmeal in the morning. Yeah. And so you, you don't have to have everything. Yeah, you don't have to. We use everything because we're nerds. But you know what happens stuff. when you use everything? You use the other thing less. Yeah. You use the one product less, so it kind of sometimes ends up being similar. But you go through, if you have five products and you go through them less than having one product and using it just as Yeah, much. it doesn't mean you're spending more money. No. It can just mean that you have more variety, but yeah. you're using one each less. Kyla, thank you. She says, she says, you ladies are awesome. I feel like I'm chatting with my sisters when I'm listening to you. And Aww. yes, and that's what we do. We talk over one another, guys. So it's a sister thing. I do talk over her too. But well, sometimes you, you take the questions more. Yeah. And I feel like I need to kind of like get in there um, because Big Sister runs the show. But I do, I do talk, I do talk over. It's a terrible thing. But um, welcome to the family. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is... Uh, this is from Teresa. We probably should end with this one. Um, yeah, Esther, right, it all balances out in the end. Some questions I have are, Teresa says, is one protein type better than the other or does that depend on our specific bodies? I think it depends upon your specific lifestyle and preferences, as Serene just said. Like, are you one that cannot do whey because you're sensitive to it? Well then, our essential is plant-based and so is our optimized plant protein. So that would be your kind of lane, right? And another lane, someone might do better with whey and collagen. So it depends upon where you fit. And maybe somebody who is in their late 70s 
elderly, um, very fast tracked sarcopenia, maybe can't work out in the gym because yeah. of injuries, essential would be the best. Essential would be the best then. Another one, and this is a good one, we actually haven't answered this. Um, how much protein can our bodies take in at one time? For example, is 30 grams just as good as 40? Can I take this one yes. first? Um, so yeah, it depends upon your age and how much lean body mass you have. As we age, we lose our lean body mass. And as we age, the research says we can't take in as much as we used to. So young people in their 20s, teens, maybe even early 30s, they can sometimes take in as probably much as 50 to 60 grams. Arden here who works out can probably take 60 grams of protein and use it all up. His muscles go slurp, right? But those of us who are getting into pause seasons, our muscles stop going slurp. Except Serene's go slurp because she's developed a lot of them. Well, it's called anabolic resistance. Yeah. And so how much can we take as we get older? Well, there's been some studies come out that say 25 max 30 is about old what people with sarcopenia, wasting muscles, and most of us are like that unless we work out, can take in. But they actually need 40 to 60. I know. So that's why we're optimizing That's the things. whole reason we do it, because EAAs can't be stored. So you're going to get your 25 gram protein in your complete, with Pearl saying count your complete. But the power is going to take you to what, you, what, what they say you need when you're older and your muscles are saying, I can't take anymore. You're going to get that extra power, but you're going, we're going to stop you at that 25 gram scoop, really, which means you're going to always stay safe. How did it take us this whole hour to figure that out, how to say it? That's exactly it. As we get older, we can't take as much food protein and use it, but we can take EAA protein and use it. So how about we mix the two together to give you all the power, but the safety of not too much. Oh my goodness, drop the mic. <laughs> um, so she said, yeah, I would ask. So we clarified it. I think we're done. Um, we don't want to leave you guys because we love you. But Deanna says... Somebody asked about an undefeated question. And I would like... Can you go back up a little the bit on the light, man. On this oh, one? You guys are loving our explanations. You're too kind. You're too kind. Let's see. They had an undefeated men question. Yeah. Uh, there, oh, yeah. This, this person you. loves Serene. Oh, okay. They didn't say they love me. But that's all right. Thankful for you too, ladies. I like your input, Serene. Oh, that's that was the love. Oh, thanks. Also, does the UM's undefeated workout yes. of the day, that's the one in the sale today. Have the new optimized way in it, Arden. Come talk. Yeah, come here. It's got Cal's own version of optimized way, right? Yeah, we have a lot of, uh, hey, hey ladies, we have a lot of great stuff in it. It's not the same mixture of our whey protein that's in the undefeated men whey protein in that. Mm -hmm. We have whey protein in there, but I take both. Like I'll generally do after my workout, I'll take the recovery shake and then I'll take my protein shake after. Yeah, and Cal says he mixes it, the WOG, yeah. with essential yeah. too. Yeah. And it's really kind of like chocolate and orange together and he loves it. Yeah. yeah, and also some men who are working out with the undefeated men lifestyle are, um, they can take milk. Yeah, and that I, has, I do raw milk. Yeah. That has so what's coming with undefeated men? Are you it. guys doing workouts in like um, a diet plan? A diet plan, so ugh, but like a eating lifestyle. plan. Yeah, we have we have lifestyle plans. We have workouts coming out. We're gonna do a podcast. The books mm -hmm. coming out down in the future. So yeah, a lot yeah. of great stuff. Also events. Yeah, we're doing a, gonna do a fitness uh, challenge event. People yeah. are gonna come to your house, that's, right? That's in the, the woods, goal. to that's the, the land. You're the gonna woods. come to Arden's. You oh, might yeah. see Serene over there in the house next door. Oh yeah. Uh, is, Linda says it's way inflammatory for us 60 year olds. Very anti inflammatory, Linda. Yeah. Unless you have a full on allergy, and that's so rare. Yeah. Uh, Way, Serene, can you talk about it's, anti inflammatory yeah, power? It's, power it's highly power? anti inflammatory. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a way who have actually been having our heads in research with Way with some stuff that's coming out in our new book, Trim Healthy Wisdom. But um, there is a lot of power in Way that we did not realize. Four. Yeah, but we're not giving we're not it, gonna it away. Well, we are, you know, we're just going to say that it's it's going to be Don't kind say of... It. No, we're not Don't. saying that, but, you know, it's going to be exciting. Um, 
very, very, very exciting. Hey, uh, we, we have to... I'm just sitting here like the bodyguard kind of stuff. Yeah, you look Show us your muscles, Art. Yeah, you could, show could us you, yeah. could you show us your, lift your, your pose? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. <laughs> and he's just laid in bed, too, with, a, with with he got sick for a little tiny little I, bit. I will say, I will say one couldn't thing. couldn't exercise, so that's... Wait, my wait. muscles, oh, I was a postmenopausal woman, and I have the, had the world's worst upper body muscles in my of, of all women. World's worst. Would you <laughs> say that that was true? It's of pretty all bad. Women. I'm slowly getting them. Oh, you oh, see that's that? Good. That's, some, that's, some, that's some muscle. I right like there. it. Come it's do so my good. push 25 with me over at Tribe Healthy. What were you gonna say, Art? No, I was gonna say well, for all the people that like worry about like, hey, should I take this? And if I take this, do I have to take the other one? I mean, yeah. I, ultimately, back when I was sick, guys, there is no amount of money that I would not spend to be healthy. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying to say like, buy this and buy this and buy everything, mm -hmm. but I think everyone should spend a decent portion of money to stay healthy. It's, mm -hmm. like, it's probably one of the best things you can spend is to keep you and your family healthy. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that I've really learned over the years is spend the money, be healthy before you get really sick. I know, and why are we even going on about protein and muscle? Oh. Everyone thinks we're so obsessed with muscle these days, but there's a reason. Oh, there's a reason. There is a reason. Maybe, maybe your reason is to recovery after childbirth. Yeah. You, you oh, yeah. need to go and um, strengthen your lower body yeah. uh, muscles, your glute muscles in particular, and they, they stretch out your pelvic floor. They, they, they kind of provide tension from, from the behind. And, and what would, could have been like a, a loose um, hammock, they'll kind of stretch out like that. And I so it's an know. incredible- That was no, the worst analogy. <laughs> no, it's so true. Women know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. And I'm telling you, glute focus training is amazing, even if it's just so that you want to strengthen your inner core. Oh my goodness. Um, but I love glute focus training because it's the largest muscle group in your body and you want metabolic burn in your bank. You don't want that bank of tissue that could be your largest um, deposit of burning me metabolism inferno. You don't want it just sitting empty. Put yeah, some stuff in there that's going to burn, burn the fat off. Burn, burn your blood sugar. Yeah, that's why we like... You don't, about me. you don't want anything just sitting there wasting. No, it. so I'm not going to sit here and show you my biceps because yeah. I haven't been working on those. But they're great anyway. But <laughs> she could show you her glutes, but that would be improper. That would be improper. But that's where you burn your meals in your glutes, and it sounds weird. Like why? You know, I mean, why are we trying to build butts? We are. Why? Because first of all, they keep our brain function. Yeah. The butt keeps the brain. Yeah. Secondly, I'm going to give you three reasons. This is the butt keeps the immune system. Um, thirdly though, what does it do, Serene? Butt burns through your blood sugar. Thank you. It burns More through your fat. More than anything. More than anything. And we're not talking about just having fat on your bum, which is nice too. We're talking about that muscular gluteus maximus, which is your biggest muscle of your body. Oh, yeah. Talk about posture, talk about power, talk about um, preventing injuries as you age. You know, where do women break their, themselves, their hip? And, and this whole area yeah, gets atrophied. And why do they break their hip? Because they don't have the muscle. And when you don't have the muscle, you cannot build the bone Because the, the gluteus of muscles, that, that's not just one muscle there below. below. There's muscles that extend into the hip. Yeah. The piriformis. And oh, the, that's all connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see a hip break in an older woman, usually you will see a very mm -hmm. declined gluteus muscle. Mm -hmm. And so we're just determined as we age fantastically to do this. But even if, like Serene said, you're pre-menopause or maybe you're not posties like Perry's like we are, I wish I could go back and say, Pearl, you know, rather than worry about your 30 minutes on the treadmill, <laughs> build your body, mm -hmm. protect your body. But we have to go, eh? Um, yeah, and it's time to leave. But see you guys. See ya. Bye. Finish that one has to finish. So, uh, oh, it. Uh, hold on, that YouTube hasn't finished. Here's Mikey. Bye, YouTube people. Bye -bye. We love yeah. you. Thank you for joining us. Oh, we like big butts and we cannot lie. Yeah, yeah there's a great rap song. <laughs> yeah. Like well, that may, may not be a troll. It's definitely a troll. I don't know who, no, who that got, is. Got a few trolls on there. Uh, maybe. Maybe they're a nice person. Oh, I listen. I might have. I might have sung that. I, actually, it was going through my head. I don't, they saying, shouldn't be called a troll if they're not a troll. Well, listen, I, listen, listen. listen if, they, if you're out there and you said that, I was singing it in my brain, and so. Oh, we're going. Bye. Bye. Mikey's saying we're going. I actually was. I was singing.